In true royal fashion, Queen Elizabeth II has a home for just about every occasion. Some of these properties come with the title, while others are inherited. Having more than one home came in very handy throughout the coronavirus pandemic, meaning the Queen and her husband could escape London and spend some time at Balmoral in Scotland. Let's take a look at some of the most beautiful royal homes. Buckingham Palace, crown owned and located in the city of Westminster. It belongs to the ruling monarch at the time, a tradition that dates back to 1837. It has a total of 775 rooms, including 19 state rooms, 52 royal and guest bedrooms, 92 offices and 78 bathrooms. Visitors can actually tour a number of the state rooms inside the palace during specific times of the year. During World War II, the Queen moved to Windsor Castle with her sister Margaret for safety reasons. Today, the Queen frequents the location on weekends and it serves as a country home of sorts. As with Buckingham Palace, Windsor is home to Queen Elizabeth as long as she is the ruling monarch. It spans 13 acres and boasts 1,000 rooms, making it the largest occupied castle in the world. In 1992, tragedy struck when Windsor Castle caught fire, damaging more than 100 rooms, including the vast medieval St George's Hall. The distraught monarch visited on the day of the fire and was also pictured the day after, surveying the ruins of her much-loved home. It has since undergone restoration, bringing it back to its former glory. Balmoral is a Scottish escape and a private estate of the Queen. It's where she usually spends many weeks at the end of each summer. The private residence, originally purchased by Queen Victoria, reportedly sits on 50,000 acres with 150 buildings in total. While the home remains largely the same as it did in Victoria's possession, the current monarch has made slight renovations in recent years. Also in Scotland is the Palace of Holyrood House, where the Queen stays each year. It was built as a monastery in 1128, and renovations in the 1670s contributed to the successful maintenance of the palace today, largely thanks to Charles II, who built the upper floor where the royal family's private apartments are now situated. At Christmas time, the Queen, the Duke of Edinburgh and other members of the royal family famously head to Sandringham, an estate in Norfolk, which Elizabeth inherited from her father. Wherever the Queen ends up residing, we can't wait to welcome her and all the royals back to Buckingham Palace balcony in the not-so-distant future.